We continue with two big breaking stories on Wavy News 10 Midday. First, he sat in prison and waited for years. Now, a man accused of a rape he did not commit is finally getting his name cleared. 10 in your size, Andy Fox broke the news on his Twitter feed and on wavy.com. Andy is live in the newsroom now with more on this big news for Jonathan Montgomery. Andy? with Jonathan Montgomery's attorney who is frustrated that it's taken this long. But when I learned this, I immediately called Jonathan's father, David, and told him, and he said, finally. Jonathan uh, is, uh, has no comment. He was not available for comment. But obviously, this is a long time coming, and what a time right before Christmas. In its finding, the Court of Appeals decided, we hold that Montgomery has met his burden of establishing that he is actually innocent, of the crimes for which he was convicted. Therefore, the Court of Appeals, the Court of Appeals grants Montgomery's petition and issues a writ of actual innocence based on non-biological evidence, thereby vacating his convictions for forcible sodomy, aggravated sexual battery, and sexual penetration. The court's conclusion states if there is no appeal from the judgment, which there will not be any, to the Supreme Court, the clerk shall forward a copy of this writ to the trial court which is the Hampton Circuit Court. It will be in the Hampton Circuit Court where an order of expungement shall be immediately entered, rent entered regarding these offenses. Now, this is what we know. This is a huge day. Jonathan was released from prison over a year ago, and it has taken this long to get to this point. Remember, this came about because Elizabeth Coast, his accuser, recanted her claims, pleaded guilty, there she is there, and was sentenced for perjury. With that established, that paved the way for Montgomery to appeal to the Court of Appeals. That brings us to this day. Go online and read the opinion at wavy.com. It is clear, Stephanie, that this opinion from the Court of Appeals is the first day of Jonathan Montgomery's life. I spoke with his attorney who says that it has been frustrating it's taken this long, but this means that Jonathan Montgomery no longer has to register as a sex offender for crimes he did not commit. They are hoping that an order for expungement will be entered in the next two weeks, and that will be done in the Hampton Circuit Court. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.